just put the things through the little hole. Yeah. Got some of these thingamajiggits. So last time y'all saw me, I was literally, let me turn off the ceiling fan because y'all could probably hear it clicking. Last time y'all saw me, I was literally the involved the builder and I was um, putting together my dining table. Um, and now we're here. I probably will, I think, well not probably, I plan to go back in there and show you guys um, what it looks like because I did complete it, because you know. Um, yeah, I did complete the dining table. I actually had some friends over, so I wanted to make sure I got that done. But yeah, I did complete the dining table, our new dining table in my new place. If you watched my last video, then you know the story of how I moved and how that went down. But I feel like me being here, um, going from like being super productive in the last clip to being in my bed is a good representation of what I'm about to talk about. As I've mentioned before, y'all, it has just been a struggle um, to get like here to this place that I'm currently in. Um, and so I was happy today to be, you know, like getting the place together, putting furniture in it, putting my table to, and stuff together. Um, you know, it feels good to be able to like make your place livable and make it all homey and whatnot. But I had to muster up some energy, y'all, some some energy to get there. <laughs> For context, it is currently Sunday um, and I didn't do much this weekend at all. And I'm saying that to say like I've had such a busy season, y'all. As y'all know, I'm also getting married. If you know anything about wedding planning, um, it's been a lot. And so like how do you find time to even clean and let alone put furniture together and furnish your home, you know, all of this other stuff. And then on top of that, I have a YouTube channel. As I put in the title of the video, I've been trying to kind of just figure out how to navigate this. I'm still relatively new, at least to, I'm not new to YouTube, but I am new to posting consistently. So I've just been trying to figure out, you know, what flow works for me, how I can do this, how I can schedule, um, you know, recording and editing and posting the videos. And it's just made me think like, I know I have a lot going on and so it's not been the easiest at all to figure out how to add in this extra um, kind of facet into my day of something that is so time consuming and has multiple different steps. So it's been making me think about how people actually do this and the type of person that we're oftentimes fed on YouTube, which kind of feels like to me like the ideal YouTuber, which is just like the person who, let's just say, I know people who have, you know, different uh, preferences for how much they upload but I think the ideal youtuber is someone who uploads like twice a week if not more um, or at least even once a week even that for me has been hard but someone who uploads once or twice a week um, someone who still you know has like really nice videos and they're edited really well um, content is really good and you know who knows what they have going on in life but they do it and they make their videos interesting and they make good content those type of people it makes me wonder like about what real life struggles they have now disclaimer i'm not knocking anybody's way of life don't take that wrong but i'm honestly trying to figure out how this can work for people like me and that just means a working class person who doesn't have a lot of money who has a really busy schedule who oftentimes has obligations that um and responsibilities that include like beyond work just like organization responsibilities and responsibilities to family members and friends um and just has kind of sometimes everyday ups and downs that get in the way of me having time to do like extra kind of like curricular things extracurricular things or just uh yeah extra like time to what do i want to say face my dreams i guess i don't know but i know you guys will know what i mean it's kind of like the idea that um when a person is in survival mode oftentimes, which means if you're not familiar, being in survival mode just means um, this person is oftentimes just trying to make it to 
the next day they're living paycheck to paycheck they're trying to figure out how they're gonna put food on the table each day um and they don't really have time to think about those higher order things like what is their biggest goal in life and um what is their you know biggest philosophy what do they believe about themselves you know or what is their um long lost dream and what are their goals for the next year how you know I don't know what's their dream job all of that they oftentimes just have time to think about how they're going to survive paying bills etc sorry guys if things look a little bit different um my camera just cut off so i have to reposition things but anyways obviously i identify more with um that person <laughs> you know just because times be hard as we already talked about as everybody been talking about in, in this economy with inflation and with most of us just struggling to pay for gas and groceries life be hard <laughs> it's hard to find the time y'all it is so so hard to find the time to to do something like youtube and i commend the people that just have that grit that can really like uh make time no matter what you know and just you know they come home from their working class job and they do it and they edit um and they you know do all the things me <laughs> i'm just like how do y'all do this you know again i'm on my journey of trying to be consistent and um it's been something for the most part, you know, I still feel pretty motivated, but also it just has me thinking a lot. And that's just about like, you know, as much as this is, you know, this meaning doing YouTube, as much as this is a really cool, you know, gig and um, day to day job to have if you can make a living out of this, um, as much as this is like such a cool, amazing opportunity, it's not for everyone. And I don't mean that in the sense that everyone can't achieve it. I just mean, I think. This is one of those things where it's very obviously easier for certain people. But yeah, if you are like just a regular, you know, working class person, which shout out to us, you know, not not to put us down or nothing. Uh, if you're a regular working class person, it's just hard. Um, YouTube is just something that's hard to find the capacity to do um, so often. It's like having to get creative after a long day of work. It's kind of just like, Ugh, my brain is just isn't there, you know? Um, and it's even like having to find inspiration in a really mundane schedule, you know, if you just have a really like basic job that doesn't really inspire you. Um, all of that stuff can be obstacles, you know? Yeah, I've just been thinking like, man, hopefully I get to that point soon where for me, I can create, you know, the type of life where um, I have the space to free think and I don't have to worry about lower order things like, you know, having a roof over my head, whether the bills are getting paid. Um, and I have the space to be creative and create and make content frequently and content that's great, you know? That's the goal, you know? I love the idea of being able to do that. Keep supporting me, y'all. Shout out to y'all who watched my last video. Um, that video is doing really well. I hope uh, you guys subscribe if you're watching. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, you need to do that. Just don't even go no further in the video without subscribing. But yeah, that's something that I think is worth thinking about. Share some thoughts down below if you've ever thought about, you know, um, hey, these people who's doing YouTube like this must not, you know, have <laughs> day jobs. Then again, some do. Some people just make it happen. You know, there's definitely uh, people who just can grind like that and, you know, they don't make any excuses. I, again, commend those people. But for the rest of us, um, yeah, let me know how, how y'all do it, man. Make time to, to do creative stuff. Let me go show y'all my table. My camera looks a little blurry for some reason. I have no idea why. I think it might be because of a scratch that I have. But look, y'all. I did it. Uh, we're missing a dining chair. We have it. It's just in my car. But it's a little basic little um, six-seater dining table. And I love it. It's a start, you know. Um, so, yep. I'm excited to make this space homey. Um, I'm excited to post more about it um, as me on my journey as a young girl getting married in the city, trying to figure out this thing called life. It's part of what I love about YouTube. I know um, that's also social media in general, but just being able to tell a story and find people who are at a similar place who can relate. Um, yeah, I've already had people leave comments talking about, you know, how they can relate to being in the city and just trying to um, even just like do the right thing, you know, especially as a Christian. That's a whole nother rabbit hole, which I can't wait to make more videos about as well. Um, just, you know, trying to be in Christ in today's day and age and being my age and trying to do that and still make friends and be out here in the world, but not of the world, if you know what I mean, <laughs> period. So 
thank you guys for watching i'm excited so much um to share to share oh my goodness um more with you guys about uh what's coming next so look out for more home stuff more marriage content more um opinions because i got a lot of those <laughs> and yeah subscribe if you haven't see y'all in the next video